Now, a visit to the coastal town of Malindi in yesteryears would easily sway you to believing that you are in Italy, owing to the large numbers of Italian tourists found there. However, the current situation in Malindi that held the pride of the most visited coastal town is far adrift from its former self. Lulu Hassan tells us more. The dwindling numbers of tourists docking, landing and driving into Malindi, delving a serious blow not only to the hoteliers, but also to businessmen and women who depended on the tourists. Like wood sculptures, their chairman indicating that from an average of 200 customers per day, you will this day be lucky to get 10. Tukiangalia kwa sasa, ile mauzo tunawayo pata hapa kwa siku, tunaweza kupata shingi elfu mbili. More tourists in Malindi meant more money as they would easily collect up to a million shillings a day, an amount they now only consider as history. Tunaweza kujimundu hata kimaisha lakini kwa wakati huu imekuwa ni hali ngumu sana hata watoto wetu wameshajafu kuzwa shule tunauza mamilioni ya pesa lakini kwa wakati huu tuko saa hii sasa saa hii vile tunaona hapa hizi mali ziko hapa zimelala as poverty punches according to them even marriage has lost meaning kulikuwa na msukumo hata alienda kama mwaka mzima kwao na watoto the scarcity of foreign exchange that came by way of tourists clamping down taxi businesses as drivers seek alternative means to make ends meet. Having lived a 50 years, a few people in Malindi know the coastal town better than Daniel Ndeto. He has literally witnessed the transformation. He says Malindi is a pale shadow of its former self. 1977, <laughs> For Titus Kangangi, a hotel owner here, hope remains alive that one day Malindi will gain its lost glory and business will be restored. Because of the experience that we have had, the support that we have had from the local tourists, right now I can tell you uh, many of us are running over 40% occupancy and now starting to see better flow and light at the end of the tunnel, I can only tell you that uh, Malindi is bouncing back. The biggest call to the authorities is to market Malindi and make it easy for business to flourish, as it remains the only way to bring the coastal town back to its feet. Lulu Hassan, Citizen TV.